adventure on Rocky Railway. Here we're discovering about Jesus' power, pulls us through, and even when life gets a little off the tracks. Let's sing about that right now with Your Power Will Pull Us Through. Trust in you, Jesus, you're all, you're all, you're all that we need. Your power will pull us through. We're trusting in you. We're trusting in you. You give us hope and life that's forever. You make us bold and we stand together. this journey there's no looking back with jesus to lead us we're on the right track oh, 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 oh. wide open spaces for wide open eyes we're looking ahead for the next big surprise oh, oh, oh. start to our day. Did you know that trains can talk to each other? Well, they don't really talk, but they communicate with each other. Listen to this and see if you can guess what this train might be saying. Those train whistles, but we can use all of our senses to find evidence of God. 
Today I want you to think of something that you've heard that reminds you of God's power or his joy or his creativeness. Train whistles are big and bold, and they have something important to communicate. Sometimes God wants us to be bold too. Sometimes we have to stand up for what we believe, even if it's unpopular. We need to share what we believe about Jesus, even if others don't feel the same way. Being bold can be hard, but you're not in it alone. Our Bible point today is, Jesus' power helps me be bold. Today we're going to be a Bible memory buddy, Sierra. Sierra will help us remember that Jesus' power helps us be bold. Trust Jesus. for another exciting day? I'm roaring to go. My name is Sierra, and I'm a mountain lion. Now, you might think lions only belong in Africa, but North America has their lions too. My friends and I go by other names like pumas, panthers, catamounts, and cougars. That's because I live all over the western part of the globe and different people have different names for me. In fact, aside from humans, no other mammal covers such a large range of territory. I am one cool cat, aren't I? My tawny fur doesn't start out like this. As a baby, I had spots. I think God gave me those so I'd blend in with the tall grass where my mother hid me. After my brothers and sisters and I were old enough to hunt, we left our pride and went out on our own. Most of the time, I'm pretty quiet. After all, if I'm making a lot of noise, it's gonna be hard for me to sneak up on my lunch. Shh, be quiet. A girl's got to eat! Of course, there are times when I need to make a big, bold noise. Even though I look a lot like a lion, I don't roar. I've got a pretty intimidating scream, though. <coughs> Isn't that the cat's meow? When I need to catch a meal, I have to move fast. I'm glad God gave me such powerful legs to run, jump, and Without those mighty muscles, I'd go hungry. God made my legs so powerful, mountain lions can jump up to 18 feet high and 40 feet long. That'd be like me jumping on top of your house. God created me with muscles to leap and pounce. Sometimes you need to boldly leap or pounce on an opportunity. Maybe it's hard to be bold when you need to make a new friend, tell the truth, or boldly talk about Jesus. The Bible has this powerful promise for you. He gives power to the weak and strength to the powerless. You can trust that Jesus' power will give you the strength you need to be bold. Jesus is right with you, cheering you on all the way. Pounce on the opportunity. Jesus' power helps us be bold. Trust Jesus. Thank you. 
and everybody clap your hands. Now stop. I feel it in the air right now. It's all around, I see it everywhere. It's the power. As you can imagine, 
That miracle sparked quite a commotion. A huge crowd gathered, and that's when the second incredibly bold thing happened. Peter and John stood up and started teaching about Jesus. They told the crowd who Jesus was and that Jesus had died for their sins. They told the crowd that they needed Jesus. And that made some people in the crowd very angry. See, not everyone in the town was a fan of Jesus. Some people, including a lot of Jerusalem's leaders, thought Jesus was a liar. They thought Christians who talked about Jesus were liars too. Sometimes it can be hard to stand up for what's right or to tell others about Jesus. There are times we can really understand what things were like for Christians in Jerusalem. The leaders there got so mad at Peter and John that they had the guards seize them and put them in jail for an entire night. Peter and John had to make a decision. Stay quiet and stay safe? Or keep talking about Jesus and get in a lot of trouble? I want you to think for a second. What would you do if you were in this position? Well, Peter and John thought there were things about Jesus that people should know too. They boldly told the leaders, we can't obey you instead of Jesus. We're not going to stop telling people what we've seen and heard. Wow, that was a bold stand. They stood up and continued talking about Jesus, even though they knew they were in danger. Their boldness was so big, and their message about Jesus was so powerful, that the Bible says 5,000 men believed in Jesus that day. Isn't that awesome? Now, that doesn't even count the women and children who amazing, bold message. That got me thinking. I know Jesus because someone boldly told me about Jesus. Jesus' power made someone so bold I could hear about Jesus. And Jesus' power can help you be bold too. Trust Jesus. But back to Peter and John. The angry leaders threatened them and commanded them not to talk about Jesus anymore. Then they let Peter and John go. The men went back to their Christian friends and told them what happened. Do you know what their friends did? They prayed together, asking God for courage. I know we all need courage when it comes to being bold in what we believe. But you're surrounded by friends here who want to remind you that you never face anything alone. I'd like to pray for you. Let's pray. Close your eyes with me, please. Jesus, thank you for always being with us. It's comforting to know we are never alone. When we feel like we're the only ones who believe in you, when we feel like we're the only ones facing tough stuff, you're right beside us, giving us your strength, love, and boldness. We love you and we thank you. In your name, may we be bold. Amen.
Welcome back to Imagination Station. I'm so glad to see you here. I can't even imagine all the discoveries we'll make today. But you know what comes first, right? I just have to ask, did you bring your imagination today? Uh-oh, looks like some of you forgot again. And we're going to need a bunch of imagination today. That's why I had a chat with my friend Sierra. You've met Sierra, haven't you? Sierra the mountain lion? Well, Sierra told me something amazing about herself and her mountain lion friends. Mountain lions like Sierra can leap up to 15 feet in the air. That's higher than most ceilings. Let's see if we can do that. Everybody hop up. And on the count of three, let's see how high we can jump. Ready? One, two, Three! Oh, well, I don't think any of us jumped as high as 15 feet. Let's try one more time. Here we go. One, two, three! That was fun, but I don't think we'll ever be able to match Sierra, without a trampoline, that is. Sierra and her mountain lion friends are so cool. Which do you think is stronger in a mountain lion? Do they have a stronger sense of smell or a stronger sense of hearing? Think about your answer. Ready? Okay, let's get that drum roll going so I can reveal the amazing answer. And the answer is mountain lions have a weak sense of smell but they have an extremely sensitive and powerful sense of hearing. Imagine that. Speaking of power, today we're discovering that Jesus' power helps us be bold. Trust Jesus. Sometimes we may not feel very bold, especially when it comes to sharing our faith in Jesus. You've probably heard the phrase, practice makes perfect, right? Well, we'll never be perfect but practice can help us be bold. It's kind of like this. You take one little step, like praying before lunch at school. Maybe someone asks you why you do that. So you take the next little step and say, you're thanking God for your food. Then maybe you take another little step. Say that you're really thankful to God for sending Jesus and so on and so on and so on. Each bold step makes the next step a little easier. It's a matter of momentum. Let me show you what I mean. Hmm, this chain by itself isn't very bold. It just sits in the bucket. That's kind of like our lives without Jesus. We can't do a whole lot on our own, just like this chain can't do anything on its own. But when we have Jesus in our lives, His power helps us. Jesus' power helps us be bold. Trust Jesus. Now, watch what happens when we add the unexpected power of momentum to the chain. Wow, did you see that? The power of momentum made the chain boldly jump out of the bucket. Wow! When we have Jesus in our lives, He can help us be bolder than we ever thought possible. Now it's time to introduce today's sciencey fun gizmo. Behold, the Bold Blaster! Let's see what it can do. Well, that was kind of a dud. Let's try again. Hmm, this Bold Blaster sure isn't very bold. Something must be missing. I'm gonna add the power pack. That should help the bold blaster be bold. Let's see what happens. Put your arm out totally level and... Wow! All right, now it's your turn to try it. Pull out your bold blaster kit and lay it out. You should have two pieces, the green tube, and the green straw with the red rubber ball. To assemble, hold the red rubber ball and place the green tube over the straw. 
to drop, hold your arm out straight and level. Wow! Now it's your turn to try out your bold blaster. Does it matter which way you attach the power pack? Can you get your bold blaster to jump as high as Sierra the mountain lion? When you play with your bold blaster, remember, with Jesus, our boldness can reach new heights. Jesus' power helps us be bold. Trust Jesus! Take a few minutes to play with your bold blaster. And when it's time to come back, you'll hear the train whistle. Have fun! Believe it or not, we've come to the end of our time at Imagination Station. Take your bold blaster and put it inside of a baggie so you don't lose any of the pieces. If you have a Try This at Home sticker, it will help you to remember today's point, that Jesus' power helps us be bold. Trust Jesus! All right, well, we will see you back here next time at Imagination Station. <laughs> Welcome back to Kitwit Cinema. I'm really glad to see you. Today we're going to meet Lauren, who trusts Jesus to help her boldly share his love. Let's see how she does it. Meet Lauren. She's your pretty typical kid. She loves Legos and animals. These are freshwater fish. Mine is Peaches, my brother's is Green Lantern, my sister's is Uma. She loves learning. My favorite subject in school is writing. I did write. This is kind of like a comic book. She also loves cruising around her basement on her scooter and bouncing on trampolines. Lauren also serves Jesus in a big, bold way by serving at her local food kitchen. I saw all the people who didn't have food, so I wanted to help them. My first time I served in Community Kitchen, I tried it in California, and I wanted to do it here. So I told my mom, and she found a place, and she said I can go. First thing, she meets with her crew to get a plan for the day. What we need to get done? It feels nice and it feels like God want me to do this because it's important that people who don't have very much things 
that we need to care for them. I am the drink and dessert person. When I do desserts, I walk back and forth taking down desserts and putting them on a table. Once everything is set up, they say a prayer before everyone is served. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for the food that you have It's time to start serving. When they start, we have to pour the drink. Thank you. You're welcome. Wow! Isn't it cool to see Lauren's boldness as she serves and meets all these grown-ups? You're welcome. We serve juice, we serve milk, and we serve coffee, hot chocolate. It makes me feel bold when I show them that I care about them and that they are important and that we should care for them. And they're always happy when I'm there. That makes me feel good. Thank you. You're welcome. You're doing a great job. Thank you. You're welcome. Lauren enjoys serving so much, she invites others to serve with her. My brother wants to go with me, so he'll come next time. In the Bible, the book of Isaiah tells us, He gives power to the weak and strength to the powerless. God has given me the power to show people that they matter and that it's kind to care for people who need stuff and who are just on the streets, who don't have food, who don't have homes. They need stuff and I got the power from God to show them that they matter. Jesus' power helps us be bold. I really liked Lauren's story, didn't you? I thought she was really brave and bold for such a young girl. Sometimes stepping out or boldly showing Jesus' love can make us feel nervous or afraid. But today we're learning that Jesus' power help us be bold. Trust Jesus. Let's learn the verse that goes perfectly with today's video. Isaiah 40 verse 29. He gives power to the weak and strength to the powerless. Say it with me. He gives power to the weak and strength to the powerless. Our buddy Sierra will help us remember this verse. I can't wait to see Jesus', Jesus power helps you to be bold right now and in the future. Think of a way you can boldly serve Jesus and help others and remember if you're feeling nervous or afraid, Jesus' power helps us be bold. Trust Jesus. place in heaven for me. This train is bound for glory. This train. This train is bound for glory. This train. This train is bound for glory. This train. This train is bound for glory. Jesus made a place in heaven for me. This train is bound for glory. This train. Okay now, let's bring it down. This train is bound for glory. This train. This train is bound for glory. This train. This train is bound for glory. Jesus 
made a place in heaven for me This train is bound for glory This train in heaven for me this train is bound for glory this train